Sher Shah Suri, born as Farid Khan, was the founder of the Sur Empire in India. Sher Shah had its capital in Sasaram in modern-day Bihar. He was born in 1472 to Hasan Khan, a jagirdar of Sahasram, Bihar. He secured the title of Sher Khan from Bahar Khan Lohani, a ruler of South Bihar. Later, he became the guardian of Jalal Khan, the minor son of Bahar Khan Lohani. The major political events of Sher Shah's reign are in 1530 he captured the fort of Chunar and defeated the Afghan forces and became the ruler of Bihar. In 1533 Sher Shah occupied Gaur the capital of Bengal. In 1539 Sher Shah defeated Humayun in the battle of Chosa. In 1540 AD Sher Shah defeated Humayun again in the battle of Bilgram and Humayun had to leave India. With this Afghan rule was established for 5 years. In 1541 Sher Shah suppressed revolt in Bengal and divided the provinces into district. He occupied Punjab and invaded the Kokars and built a fort called Rohtas. In 1542 AD Sher Shah captured Malwa. In 1543 AD Sher Shah occupied the fort of Resin. In 1544 AD Sher Shah defeated Maldev the ruler of Marwar and occupied Ranthambore and Kalinjar. Sher Shah Suri died in an explosion in 1545 AD. The administration of Sher Shah Suri is well known. During his short term of 5 years he set up a sound system of administration Sher Shah's principles of an ideal government were protect subjects from oppression and tyranny press crime ensure the comfort of traders and soldiers ensure safety of the highways and ensure peace and prosperity of the people Sher Shah established a central administration dynamically Sher Shah was a benevolent despot and divided the government into departments headed by a minister the empire was divided into 47 sarkars and sarkars were divided into parganas and parganas were divided into villages the villages were based on panchayat system his revenue administration was very strong revenue was fixed as one third of the produce on the basis of the land surveyed it could be paid in cash or kind he discouraged the jagir system but introduced kabuliyat and patta his military administration was also very strong he recruited troops personally he introduced the system of dag and chera he had infantry and cavalry he divided his army into divisions headed by a commander He was also known for a strong judicial system. He was an impartial administrator. Qazis served as judges and applied Islamic law. The criminal law was harsh and punishments were severe. He also established an efficient system of spies and his espionage system was very strong. Sher Shah also worked hard on his communication system. He built roads to encourage trade. He built sarais for lodging and boarding. He also worked on the postal arrangements. He used sarais as mail post or dak chowkis. He was also a great builder. Sher Shah built Purana Kila in Delhi and his own mausoleum at Sahasram. Sher Shah also gave attention to trade and commerce. To promote business, he abolished taxes, tolls and customs and struck copper coins. His religious policy was also very strong though a staunch muslim he was just to hindus and muslims and gave liberal grants sher shah was a great ruler he was the first one to throw moguls out of the country in their early ages it is said had sher shah been spared for a decade or two more the great moguls would not have appeared on the stage of history If you want to know anything more about Indian history please leave it in the comment box so that I can come back with it if you have liked the video please like share and subscribe thank you